increasingly what we're seeing is that all companies are tech companies in some way. You know, it's not just the traditional bricks and mortar, you think that's not involved with technology. Companies of all shapes and sizes now harness technology in all that they do. And importantly, we're seeing how that impacts on uh, the world of work and how the HR community responds to that. Studies have shown there's some quite alarming um, suggestions of what will change uh, in the world of work going forward. One suggestion that by 2045, there'll be 44% fewer jobs overall. Um, another Jack Ma of Alibaba said that we will all be working a 16 hour working week by 2030. So it sounds as though we're dealing with mass downsizing, but in actual fact, I think what we will see in future is new jobs being created for the tech-savvy millennial generation. It'll be new roles being created for folks to fill. The gig economy is a classic case of employment law needing to, and frankly failing to, adapt to fit with the modern way of working. The demands of what employers are seeking from a flexible workforce and the flexible interests that particularly the young millennial population are looking for in how they deliver to employers. What we've seen, when you think of the gig economy, you maybe think of Deliveroo, you think of Uber, you think of some of the very high profile employment law cases that we've seen around defining worker status. Are you an employee? Are you truly self-employed? Are you somewhere in the middle as a worker? But actually what we in society want, we want this, we want these. We couldn't do without these platforms now, these tech platforms. For us as employment lawyers and for HR professionals, people are central to everything that we do. Now technology is an enabler and it will change the way that we work, but I still think that it will never replace that true interaction that we will have as advisors to the business and likewise to be there for the workers um, that are there at the coalface delivering day to day.